Saints win that has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. Do. I would think about selective pressure, Brandon, and what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz on him. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Shotgun now for Rodgers. They say just outside the 20-yard line. First drive coming up here for this New Orleans Saints offense. And leading about a quarterback here in 2021 in his seventh NFL season, it's Jameis Winston. Excellent numbers usually result. They go play action. Winston. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going here. Play fake, Winston. Oh, look at Thomas, wide open. Play action now, Winston. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson, there to make the win and goal. Rodgers to throw once more. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Here to try for the third down stop. Working out of the gun, Winston. And we'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And on EA Sports. Down the second. Let's bring on the new punter for 2021, Blake Gillikin. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, and what a play on special. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. And head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Going up top. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. Not sure much more could have been done there defensively. Went up with him. Tried to knock it away. Tried to get an arm in unsuccessfully. Half time. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. To throw again on second down. Winston. Pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because they go play action. Winston. For the left side. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Rodgers good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good throwing again on second and ten Winston looking long for Thomas and that's caught inside the 35 touchdown New Orleans Michael Thomas 79 yards and the Saints on just two plays have taken the lead well, when it comes to throwing the deep ball, no one has ever questioned the arm strength of Jameis Winston. And this is a beautiful throw right here. And I'm telling you, nothing will run up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking down the field. And you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Let's go on the extra point. And the lead is up to five. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. 25. Winston and the Saints now. Down 23-20. A minute 39 to go. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and ten. Now Winston. 
Pass complete, Thomas. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Here's Winston. It's complete, Camaro. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Winston to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect, incomplete. I give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here we go with Kamara. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Trying to hurry to the line on the very outskirts of field goal range. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Winston. Over the middle, it's complete. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Back to throw. To the right side, and he's got Landry. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And his kick here is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any high jinx on the kickoff here, partner, I think how much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Down right at the line of scrimmage. So a big play in this opening drive of overtime. Now looking at a third and three. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Decision to be made on fourth and just a few inches in overtime. What do you do? I know you've got to weigh it out as a head coach because if you don't get it, you've turned it over in a great spot for the opposition to go down and win the game. But fourth and in inches, I think what most teams do is they say, if we can't get inches, we don't deserve to win anyway. Here comes the Saints punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by... Oh, and it's intercepted! Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And he'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. So we will see yet another drive in this overtime. For whatever reason, neither team able to finish this game off. I know that the first thought is, does anyone really want to win it? But I think that they both desperately want to win it, and sometimes you force things, and that leads to errors. Well, it's out there for the taking. We'll see who can do it. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And they have regained the lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. 
And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give them confidence.